dollars and just keeping the blood flowing through the legs. Anyway, the Russians off. That's Krivitenko of the uh, Soviet Union, as Rick mentioned. Uh, Olympic debut for this young fellow, has not ridden at international competition before. Kurt Rupke of Denmark has the leading time at the moment of 105.168, went through the first lap in 24.075. Let's see what the Russian can do. And the time on your left is the previous best time, and he has gone through in more than half a second faster than the best rider, and there's, an, there's two seconds under the previous best rider, so he's looking good. OK, now Rupke on the second second lap completed in 43.772 there's the split for the half lap he's still and he's under the half up okay so 43.772 is what we're looking at at the moment he's looking very impressive he's looking very strong as he comes towards the bell there's 333 meters to go and this is when this race is won and lost on the last lap it's a battle of wits on the last lap a battle of strength and this is where Vinnie Combe is very strong he's to go into the lead here, 105.168 is what the Russian has to ride. And he's dying badly, actually. He's, uh, he's timed two seconds in, in advance on the first lap, but he's not coming home as strongly as what I would have expected. So, as he goes towards the line, let's look at it. 104.499, that puts him into first position. We've had Bruce now. That's uh, Mike Melchow, the East German, the man with the Kevlar bike, the, uh, the, the East German champion. I spoke to Lutz Hessler, who's the... A sprint champion, a five times world champion, who said to me confidentially that Mike Melchow's only downfall is that he is not a strong, mentally strong competitor. Champion Martin Vidikov can do. And off he goes. He's a very strong start. You can see by those powerful legs, and you can see how that bike is just moving straight along. This is very rigid, this Kevlar. Well, the mark that'll come up on your screen, the left hand side of the screen, is the half lap split. Let's see how he goes on that. That's 13535. He's outside that. He's a long way outside that. Half a second. That's a very slow start. And the split is 22.903 for the first lap. Well, that really has been a disappointing first start, uh, first lap for Malchow of East Germany. He's a second down. That's, this looks very heartening for Australia. If second on the first lap is a hell of a lot to make up, almost 20 metres to make up. Remembering this man holds the world record at 102.091, set in the United States in 1986. But, but he is pedalling very smoothly, and as he comes towards the bell with 333 metres of this track to go, he is looking very good, and in fact, he is increasing his speed. Bell lap for the East German. Let's watch his finish. He goes around the back straight for the last time. Just half a lap to go. He's looking a little bit untidy as he heads down the back and in fact I think his race may well have been 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 lost actually. He doesn't seem to be moving at all well. Well we just wonder whether he can move into metal calculations at least. Let's look at it now. He's out of the metal count. He finishes in fifth spot at this stage of the championship with just one ride to ride off and I wonder now what the full that before he's beaten that time on a couple of occasions. Won it uh, at altitude. Well actually the words of look it's all up to Martin. Three laps to go to goal. Take us through the start. There's the strong legs of Vinnie Combe. He's looking quite strong, quite fast, very smooth off the mark. And as he heads around the corner, the time we're looking for at the turn is 13.5. Anything around that is good. That's a wonderful start for Martin. It is a good one. And the uh, first lap time is 22.903. So let's watch what the Australian can do. And he's motor. He's really moving at the moment. He's pretty competitive. He's dropped a little bit there on the first lap. That's usual for Martin to be within a second of the leaders on the first lap. He's just dynamite in that last lap. And he's he got is 500 flying to go. around that back straight at the moment. Coming up now to complete the second lap. The time we're looking for on the left is 42.568. The Australian is flying. And there's 43.03. He's just out of contention. That's half a second. But remember last year he made up one full second on the last lap. Around the back straight for the last time. Half a lap to go for Martin Vinnicom. Look at the determination Half on the face. Half a second down. And as he powers along, Martin does seem to have slowed a little bit. This is his strongest part. He does seem to lift up the back straight. 102 to 104 is the time to beat. And it's just outside. Silver it's a medal. It's a silver, silver medal, medal to Australia. To Martin Vinnicom. Just finishing out of the gold medal hunt.